Jeff Oden of Hatteras talks about long lining in an interview with Susan West. Out of all the fisheries that you've worked in, do you have any particular favorites? Does any? Well, I'd say long lining. You get a string of big eyes on there, it's mighty pretty, you know, as well as swordfish. And, uh, you know, they're pretty lucrative fish, you know, when you put them on the deck and they're definitely the most valuable of anything I've fished for, you know, at, at a given time. And, you know, hey, when you're catching, it's all fun. You know, uh -huh. that's just the way it is, though. But, I mean, hey, I love netting a king mackerel. I love hooking them. But, well, I don't know. Bottom fishing. Do you I, set the long lines at night? We set them, uh, well, it depends. Sometimes, certain times of the summer, we've been setting in the daylight. And, uh... But, you know, we're setting the point, usually we'll go up there and set the tide where it shoots off to the east up at, uh, you know, the point being straight off of uh, Road Anthe Salvo waves. That's essentially where that, the Gulf Stream and the Labrador intersect and the Gulf Stream goes due east or east-northeast. And uh, anyway, we'll set the tide and sometimes we'll set about 6 o'clock and usually we'll start hauling our gear about one, twelve, or one in the morning, and uh, fish all night. So. And how long are the long lines, and how many hooks? Are We're only allowed twenty miles in the Mid Atlantic. You go okay. north and south, and you can set more if you'd like. But from the Mid Atlantic, the whole Mid Atlantic, we're only allowed twenty miles, and usually I set about seven hundred and fifty hooks on that.